there! My name is Vex, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. I should probably pause this. I don't know if there's a time limit to when he's going to say something, but I don't think so. Anyways, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. In the last episode, we killed Garlins. I want to say Garnets. Garnet. Uh, pff, Garlins. Silver Dragon, and then also killed him with, with complete ease. I'm curious in the comments, guys. Did you have an easy fight with this guy? I, I feel like it should have been hard... And I feel like I don't deserve the power spike that we got. I feel like I didn't put enough work into grinding or maximizing uh, the items and, and such. Um, so did you guys have uh, such an easy time with Garland and the Silver Dragon? Let me know, because I am genuinely curious. Anyways, we're going to jump right back into this. We just defeated Garland. You fight well. Give it up, Garland. What the... <laughs> this is too easy. The Invincible is mine. Now I have the power to control all souls. Garland gave me everything without a fight. The old fool was too busy dealing with him. Now only death awaits him. Poor Garland, bitten by his own dog. This is no accident. Fate has chosen me to become the new ruler of Terra. Time for me to put on the finishing touches. I must say, I truly love you all. You not only broke the seal to Terra, but did me the favor of defeating Garland. Zidane, you are truly an extraordinary Geno, deserving of my love. What are you doing here, Kuja? That's not a very nice way to greet your brother. Shut up! You're no brother of mine! Oh, such ferocity. Master Garland, he intends to fight Terra. Kuja, what are you scheming? Scheming? Me? Watch me as I defeat these enemies of Terra. Come on now. You may sleep alongside the souls of Terra. For all eternity. Okay. I feel like this is a scripted battle. I don't think we're going to win. Because I, I do remember a cutscene after this. And I think I remember kind of what happens. This is the third boss fight in a row though. So the game might think they're beaten. But we're not beaten. We're in a really good place to fight. So we're going to we're gonna attempt this as if we are going to kill Kuja. Yeah, so we're gonna use Rice's win. Demi should reduce Freya's health in half, I believe. Uh, but it missed, so we're all good. Uh, he's laughing at our hits, but we still deal normal damage. So yeah, I feel I really feel like this is scripted. Um, a battle where we're not supposed to win, which is very frequent in uh, in, in Final Fantasy games and in JRPGs. You call that an attack? It's dealing a lot. It, it destroys. Okay, he's got Thundaga, Thundaga. Luckily, we queued up uh, Kira after this. So, let's see how much damage that does to our part. Are we, like, in god mode right now? Did I activate a cheat? What is happening? We're guarding from, like, all status abilities and, and, and attacks and stuff. And Oh, my gosh. Show me your true power. This is pretty powerful, I'd say. Like, come on, dude. I, you can be arrogant all, that, all, all you want. But I feel like we're doing a good job here, okay? Okay, let's see how much it does to Dagger, if anything. No! Alright, we're going to defend whenever we don't need to cure. It's probably better to queue up a, a Cura, but just in case we need her, I guess we'll just keep attacking. Yeah, we're, we're dealing a ton. See right there, if we queue... But no, but she would have cured us before, and then... See, now it's better, because now we can cure... Um, wait... Yeah, oh, oh, he still did a single target, though. Yeah, I, I keep thinking he's, he's using that on our entire party, but no. Okay. I'm um, also usually in scripted battles. There's, there is usually a, uh, a limit. Like, if you deal enough damage, you'll still activate. He'll, like, he'll, he'll, you know, use some trump card. Like, uh, like when we fought Beatrix way back when. They'll, they'll use some trump card, and they'll just beat us anyways. Which is stupid. Like I said, you should be rewarded with an item. All right, let's see. Can you, can you do it this time? Okay, finally, you, you did it. You did a whopping 1,200 damage. Wow, and, and Kuja's dead. Why are we so strong? Ugh. Yeah, show me your true power, huh? Oh, I think I know. The, the time is now. I think I know. Yeah, that's right. He goes into trance, I believe, or Super Saiyan 4. This is the power of trance. Yes, Kuja goes into trance. That's right. Hmm. 
Why doesn't Zidane look that cool? I'll show you my true power. Ultima. Is this your trump card? Kuja, you're just gonna go ahead and kill my party flat out because I don't even have a choice. Is that, is that gonna happen? You're gonna do 9999 to everybody? Or should I survive this? Well, what are you doing, Kuja? What do you got going on here, bud? Yeah, see? Scripted. Yes. This is the power I've longed for. The mighty power of souls. They assault any threat that tries to destroy them. Whoa. What do you mean? It's trance. You know how it works. But a normal trance won't be enough to defeat you. You're all as resilient as Ogolops. Even tiny Moogles possess the power of trance. When I saw that in Gulag Volcano, I came up with a plan. It was easy. I just needed to borrow the power from wretched souls that can't die. Where did I acquire it? It was the invincible, or should I say that large eyeball in the sky? The ship sucked up the souls of Medane Seri, the Aifa tree, Alexandria to feed upon them. When it bought, when it fought, Bahamut at the Aifa tree, the invincible drew in a powerful spirit. Can you guess to whom it belonged? No. That's right! It was your mother's soul, a wretched soul that clung to life to the bitter end. The souls trapped inside the Invincible welcomed me with open arms. They were fed up with being your prisoners, Garland. So, Master Garland, you are no longer needed, and after you've worked so hard, I shall rule Terra and Gaia with my unconditional love from now on. What will you do with such power? Master Garland, you of all people should accept defeat gracefully. <laughs> Kicked him right in the balls. How sad. Any last words? Your power is meaningless. <laughs> now it's your turn. Should I kill you quickly to show my appreciation for all you've done? Or should I kill you slowly and painfully to show you my love? Cooch, I don't I think you need to look up the definition of love in a dictionary, man. Jesus. Oh, I've got a great idea. How's this? I'll make you pillars for my castle. You'll all decorate my castle as a symbol of my internal kingdom. How do you like that? No. Never! You could never build an eternal kingdom. That voice. Garland? Did you leave something behind? Do you think a defect like you could last forever? What? What do you mean? I built you to last only until the worthy genome, Zidane, grew. It was too dangerous to let you last any longer than that. What are you saying? There's a limit on your life. You'll be dead soon. Even as I die, you'll have died without ever leaving your mark on the world. <laughs> what an interesting lie. You're telling me that my life will end soon? <laughs> nice try, Garland, but I won't fall for your silly tricks. Garland? Garland? Answer me! You were created to destroy. You are immortal. Uh, mortal? I'm finished? I don't believe you. Why would I believe such a silly story? You're telling me that I'll die soon, now that I'm more powerful than anyone? I'm gonna... die? Lose my soul? <sighs> <laughs> what comedy! Zidane, isn't it hilarious? I'll die just like the black mages I so despise. I single-handedly brought chaos onto Gaia, but in the end, I'm nothing but a worthless doll. Kuja. Kuja? I won't let it happen. I won't. I won't let this world exist without me. And this is the exact cutscene I was thinking of.
Kuja. I can't believe him. Zidane, we gotta get out of here before the tower collapses. But how? We need to carry the injured out, too. Let's steal Kuja's ship, the Invincible. It's at the bottom of the tower. Oh, yeah, but... All right, you guys head for the ship. I'm gonna rescue the genomes. They're victims. I can't just abandon them. I'm coming with you. Dagger? I don't want you to leave us again, so I'll keep watch over you. Okay, we should be able to get back through the warp gate on the other tower. Dagger and I will head back to Bran Ball. You guys come get us on the Invincible. Okay, let's go back, though. I don't need to go there. Never mind, let's not go back. All right, through the warp pad through the other tower. I'm not sure what Zidane was talking about. Thank God we have Zidane in our party, because he does a uh, lot of damage. Oh, okay, okay. This is going to lead us back all the way over through the light bridge and through the uh, timed zone. I'm not exactly sure what warp pad he's talking about, though. I think we need to... Okay. Looks like a teleporter leading to the upper levels. It might take us back to Bran... It might take us back to Bran Ball. Ah! What's wrong? B behind you. They're just eyes. It's okay. Let's go. Just eyes? How very bold of you. That's what I'm thinking too, Zidane. I don't like the look of these things. Uh, whoa, those things look exactly like the, um, the di- Uh, forgetting what they're called. The Dark Eye Stones or whatever from, uh, uh the Red Eye Stone from, from, um, Dark Souls. Exactly, that, that ball up there in the middle. Uh, um, Dagger? Yes. Um, about what happened earlier. What is it, Zidane? Oh, jeez. I feel like I'm being watched. Just say it. We need to hurry. Um, you came to my rescue, right? And, uh, what you said to me, it made me really happy. Zidane. How can I say this? Um. I wonder if he was going to drop the L word. Nope. N nope. Thanks. Hurry, hurry! This dinky old tower is going to collapse any minute! Please do not make me play as Ico, and Amaranth, and Vivi. Please no. And Queena. I know find good food on Terra. Maybe I eat eyeball over there. Queena, hurry up or you'll be left behind. I happy we leave. No good food anywhere. I think we're still okay. Let's evacuate the genomes. Okay, well, we're gonna miss out on a lot of chests that we left behind, but like I said, we're so powerful. Honestly, it would just appease my completionist nature. But it really just fills me with dread when I have to complete a place like that with so many different varying paths. But that chest down there, I still don't know how to get to it. Zidane, let's split up. Yeah, I'll go this way. We'll meet up when the Invincible arrives. Oh, there's a chest on the Invincible, so we'll definitely be able to peruse it. My gosh, the ship is enormous! Judging from our current position, I believe the bridge is that way. Hold it. Where's Queena? Uh, is she late again? Ho, ho, ho! I arrive! I warp inside from bottom of ship. Why were you underneath the ship in the first place? Save it for later. We must get the ship moving. What are you still doing here? We need to evacuate. What's the point? They're only empty vessels. Stop talking like that. Do you really believe what you just said? Unlike the rest of them, Garland gave me a soul that I might replace you and Kuja. But Garland is dead. Terra will soon be destroyed. What's the point? I asked myself the same question. Did you find an answer? No, but maybe the point is just to try. It's going to be hard, but I've got my friends. It isn't so bad. Hey, what's your name? Huh? Garland gave you a name, didn't he? My name is... Makoto. Makoto, huh? That's a nice name. A lot of people are going to call you that from now on. You have to find the answer yourself. It'll be hard, but you can do it. Let's go to the new world, Makoto. 
There you can find your answer. Dagger, where's Zidane? He'll be here any minute. He's looking for the last genome. Sorry to keep you guys waiting. Zidane! Sorry I'm late, but now we've got everyone. Everyone on board now. We must leave immediately. We made it. Yes, we managed to escape from Terra, but... What's wrong, Freya? Well, I was talking to Amarin about it earlier. You don't think this is the end, do you? Are you talking about Kuja? Do you really think he perished with Terra? Even with his power, it's hard to believe that he'd have escaped unscathed. What do you think, Sedane? What will Kuja do next? He'll probably try to destroy Gaia. But how? There is one thing Garland said. Something about a tree that serves as a gateway of souls between Gaia and Terra. That must be. Yeah, it's the Aifa tree. Everyone! You must come look. Come with me. What's up, Steiner? Can't you just tell us? It would be faster to come see it on the bridge. What's up? They're just clouds. It's not a normal cloud. What? Let's lower our altitude and see. Don't you see? Our altitude is not very high, and this is all we can see. Then what could it be? It's mist. It's what black mages are made out of and what used to cover the mist continent. The mist has covered all of Gaia. Why? How? Kuja, what are you planning now? Thanks! They were uneasy at first, but I think they'll get along fine. There's no need to thank me. You've done us all a great service. It wasn't a big deal. Well, anyway, everything's gonna be okay. Are you sure it's okay for them to stay here? Of course it is. So this was Vivi's idea? Yeah. He wanted the genomes to start their new lives here. We're similar in many ways. Maybe we can understand them better, and they might open up to us. Right! He also said, if you guys can get along with the genomes, maybe humans and black mages can live alongside each other someday. Like you and Vivi. I didn't even know if I truly understood him until recently. We'll take good care of them. Your friends are our friends. Thanks. Is this a monster? He's a chocobo, not a monster. He's called Bobby Corwin. What? Oh, you gave him a name. Bobby Corwin? Yeah, Bobby Corwin. Isn't it a great name? Uh, what's it from? It sounds great. Bobby Corwin, huh? I think Bobby Corwin likes you, too. It won't bite. Oh, come on. He's just a little baby chocobo. Bobby Corwin, no. Come back here. Why Bobby Corwin? Wow, I think Bobby Corwin really likes our new friend. Can't you just call him by his first name? Why Bobby Corwin? <laughs> it's such a weird name. Why do you display these items? Why? For the customers, I think. What are customers? Well, they bring money and they hand the money over to the shop and then... What is money? Money is, uh... Why do you care about small things? World very simple place. World only have two things. Things you can eat and things you know can't eat. Yeah, true, Queena, I suppose. Does the water here ever stay still? 
Water flows, doesn't it? The water of Bran Ball was always still. Hey, did you know that time flows just like water? So water and time both flow in Gaia? Looks like they're off to a good start. <laughs> it's like watching kids play. It's not their fault. They're only just they've only just begun to live their lives. Can lost time be recovered? I don't know, but there's only one thing we can do. Of course. We must protect them from anyone who tries to take their time away from them. Princess, is this really what you wish? Hmm? What are you talking about? Kuja must have done something in the Aifa tree to cover the world in mist. Do you not think it wise to consult Regent Sid before the final battle? Kuja probably plans on destroying Gaia. If I go to Lindblom now and tell the Regent about it, it might cause a panic. I'm sure everyone is apprehensive about the reappearance of the mist. I need Uncle Sid to protect Lindblom right now. Indeed, we must defeat the enemy on our own. Even if we go back to Lindblom to get equipped, please don't tell Uncle Sid about our plans. Are we ready? Yes. Let's go. You haven't got a chance. You saw Kuja's power. He destroyed a world by himself. You don't even have a million and one chance of defeating him. You'll all die. I don't think you saw my last battles, Makoto. Wow, this girl knows lots of difficult words. Doesn't she? She's a bit cynical, but take good care of her, will ya? Her name is Mikoto. She's kind of like my little sister. What? Makoto, listen to your big brother and make some friends. <laughs> how silly. We might be desperate insects to Kuja, but I'll show you how powerful we can be. Even a fly lives for a day. I don't think that's what Zidane meant. Let's go to the Ifa tree. We won't let Kuja have his way. Okay, well you guys know the deal. Our party is unstoppable, so we're gonna stick with it. Zidane, Dagger, Steiner, and Freya. Looks like we are at the end section of the game. I know how to do this. Yeah, this is cool. We get the, uh, the, uh, the invincible now. Um, let's see. Piloting seems to be the same way. How do we get out, though? I guess we need to find a place to land again. Uh, should be able to land right over here. Yes, indeed. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Well, a ton has transpired, obviously. I'm in a really good spot. I think we are going to destroy Kuja. Obviously, he was able to one-hit kill us before, but that was a cutscene. You can't do that normally. No way. We are too, too, too powerful. We're going to end this episode here, ladies and gentlemen. In the next episode, we will head to the Ifa Tree and also explore the Invincible and check out what it has in store for us. And I will see you guys there. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.